shit on a lonely night. <laughs> you didn't hear that, America. You didn't hear that. Welcome back to IDD, for those you know. I don't disagree. It was a slug him down Saturday. UConn is pulling away slowly. 76-65, to go. Oh, I thought he was going to throw it. I thought he was throw up the lob. He didn't. That, why do you throw that up for what the time? self-respecting <laughs> point guard doesn't make that I mean, toss. he had the, He had him. Oh, man, that was Larry Land. Wow. That was Brunsonville. That was Curry's call this <laughs> I mean, anyway, uh, that is the redoubtable one, Tom Izzo. Curry's call The whole, The highly question one, Arjun Miliaccio. <laughs> Segment two, uh, all things uh, Final Four and Probably Virginia nice Cavaliers one. baseball. Wahoo, wahoo. Uh, well, it. well, one of the first of what may be many shout-outs to the 15th-ranked team in America, the 2015 national champion, whose ace is another mass hole. There's a lot of those out there tonight. Um, yeah. Evan Blanker was a sophomore from Woman, 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 Mass, who made a name for himself at Austin Prep, where he went 12 and 0 as a senior, and he struck out like 5,000 people and gave up one and run all year, whatever. He's something crazy like that. He's a southpaw, so he's a special place in my heart. Um, and he, I got to see this young man pitch last night for the first time. I went down there to see an old friend, Raph. Good to catch up with you again. Raph and I used to work together. Uh, he actually went to school with my wife before we ever even met. How small world is this for you? Does Raph watch the show? Yep. Does he? Yeah. So he does now. <laughs> that son of a bitch. She's never seen it. Raffy. Subscribe, Raffy, now. Anyway, um, <laughs> the thing is this. Um, this kid, uh, Evan Blanco, um, is a lefty. He throws heat. He's got a slider, a curve, all that good stuff. Um, but last night, and he went his longest outing of the season, six and a third, struck out, fanned, flame, filleted, filleted parlayed, whatever, Myron Marion, whatever, seven batters, scattered seven hits off the 10th-ranked Carolina Tar Heels to a 7-2 win. Um, they are now, or they, they, now they took two out of three. They lost today 12-7. Mm, so in in um, but um, they... Uh, they are ranked 15th. They're probably going to move up because Carolina was 10th. But the thing about it is I was telling Tom off the air. Oh, there is Klingon on, on cue. UConn up 10 with 2.13 to go, and Klingon just had on the block. So they got the ball. They're up 10, and the clock is now their friend and uh, Alabama's sworn enemy. So it looks like the Connecticut's going to hold on here, um, barring a three-point barrage miracle in the last 158. So, um, But back to the Virginia Cavalier baseball team. Um, what I – didn't know um, is that Klingon dunk up 12, game over, is that... Um, this got out of hand out of nowhere. Um, that's defense, baby. Um, Alabama averages 90 a game. They're sitting at 60. Dude, I'm reading the article about that game, and they don't say anything about, about your boy. No? Well, was it today or yesterday? Yesterday. He went six and a third. He fanned seven. Dude, that's a great game. They have two earned runs against the 10th-ranked team in the nation. I'd say it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think you should mention him in the damn game story. On the, se- on the season, he is 3-1 and one with a 3-8 ERA, and he struck out, I think, 40. So he's just a sophomore. Well, so I'll take him 20-28 on this. He's got this. good size, 6 feet, about 205, um, and he's solid. Um, so, and he's again, he's just a sophomore. Uh, is that him? That is him right there. That's him. Yep. Um, I got a picture with him. We had dinner. Met his mom, sweet lady. Um, I like UVA and the pinstripes. Yeah, the pinstripes. Yeah, very nice. Um, And they had a guy, I forget who he was, but he hit one that hasn't landed yet. Um, And he went over the 370 side. By the way, 404 to center. That's deep. It's deep. Um, So, legit. Hell of a a facility. The field's gorgeous. Um, And uh, so I got to hang out with my buddy Ralph, who I hadn't seen in a long time, really. Or hung out with in a long time. Um, I saw him last year at my wife's, uh, my my mother-in-law's wake. He showed up unannounced. Mm -hmm. He saw it and he came. He's like, that's the kind of friend that he is. And um, I'm very lucky to call him a friend. So he called me up, said he was driving down for the weekend, wanted to see him get out for a game, had to see this kid. He did not disappoint. Um... And UConn just hit a three. They're up 15. This is over, baby. Um, we're going to get the matchup. Edie Klingon, baby. The, the, the giggle smoke guarantee went three for four and one bad call. Good job. Uh, so, um, but anyway, uh, so he, that team, they, they, now they're, 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 they lost today. So they're 24, I think they're 24 and 7, or 25 and 7 now on the year. Um, but they won the series. They won the series two out of three. Uh, now, here's the thing. 
when I was doing this research about the team, the league, and everything else, you know, because I was told, well, these are two of the top 15 teams in the country. I'm like, what? But then I looked at the rankings. <laughs> okay. The ACC currently has eight ranked teams in the nation in this conference, and they're not the highest. Clemson is third. Okay. So another three, UConn at 670. It looks like a blowout now. Um, boy, when they hit you, they hit you. Um, so they got to play. They play 52 games before the ACC tournament. We will be following them for the rest of the season. I can tell you that right now. Um, but I want to give a shout out to Evan because I got to meet this young man, talk to him a little bit. He's a great kid, hard worker, um, and he's got real potential. And there's a lot of guys in that team. They got some. They got some real legit. Uh, his buddy who was with us, his best friend, was the two kids that in, in that lineup. He says are going to get drafted this off this coming off season. Dude, if you and play D one, if you play baseball at UVA, yeah. you have a shot to go somewhere. Well, given what I saw, he wasn't bluffing. So um, I'm going to be following them. We will be following them throughout the rest of the year. It's baseball. Tom will love it. He'll eat it up. Uh, it, and by the way, I had to really work to find their stats. Here's what I didn't get: ESPN. They have the rankings if you really dig to find them, but you can't. You'll be hard pressed to click on the icon and get Virginia's lineup to pull up. I had to go to Google and do it. ESPN mm -hmm. didn't have it, which mm -hmm. I still don't get for the life of me. Because um, nobody gives a shit about college baseball. Well, they should because there's a lot of hell. I saw a lot of good ball players yesterday. Really, really it's good. There's just not a ton on um, TV, you know. Yeah, well, that's because they don't. The College World Series, when they really. They, they, they don't do enough to showcase yeah. it. They, they don't. They wait till then. And what they. they could ESPN could market this better. But, but people could. don't like baseball. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful sport, but it's it's too slow for people. Go to a game. Ooh, elbow in the face. Um, it wasn't too slow. It was um, it was every bit the. Uh, Dude, you know I love baseball. I know you do, um, and you would have loved these seats where we yeah. were sitting. Um, no, and that so, kind of stadium is. It doesn't matter where you sit. Yeah, you know and what I'm saying. Like they're you're all right good the seats. They're all good seats. I mean, yeah. That's what you love and, about um, like, like college baseball, minor league baseball, even even a lot of. Stadiums in the majors now, the newer stadiums. Mm. I mean, you, you're you have a great seat no matter what. Yeah, well, that's offensive, right? <laughs> yeah, that I'm better not, be. That's an elbow yeah. to the nose. That could be flagrant. That looks well. He didn't mean to hit him. In the I face, know, but I mean but that's but bad. I don't think they always go with it's probably a flagrant one. Yeah, or they'll throw him out. Yeah, not like a throw out. Yeah, all right, and Hurley's Hurley just threw an elbow. He's saying throw him out. He's saying toss. He's he's mad. Well, because it's like whether you intended to or not, you might have broke the kid's nose. Because the the that looked. Serious. In slow mo, it looked like he got him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he got him. And he's like, I used to get those from Bobby in the driveway. My dad didn't throw him out either. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> back to this. So, look, uh, Virginia's probably going to move up, I would think, given they took two out of three from the 10th ranked team in the nation. Mm. Um, they play 52 games, so they're, they're, they're halfway through, a little over halfway through, I think, right now. And. Um, I'm going to be watching them. I'll keep up with them through Visa, through the Internet and stuff. I don't know how many Virginia games even get televised around here. I haven't seen, I've never seen I one. I haven't seen one. Um, but they should because they are good. Yeah. They are legitimately good. So I if mean, you had like the ACC network, yeah. I wonder if you'd, get to, you'd probably be able to see it. I do have the ACC network. So I'm, you know, and they might be on there. So you know what? That's a good idea. I'm glad you brought that up. So I will check that out, see if, if there are any scheduled games so we, I can catch them. Because I can get them on here. We could watch them on here. Oh, yeah. Because I have Hulu here. So... Um, we're going to be when they play those games typically. Well, I want to check this thing. I want to check their schedule and see what when these. I know they obviously they play on a weekend. I'm looking right now. I wonder if they play one during the week too, or what they do. But I mean, they played majority of their games have been at home so far, so they're going to be going on a road trip. I think at some point. Yeah, it says the games will be exclusive to <laughs> ACC Network. Okay, which I do have. So we'll check it out and see. And and look, if there's eight teams, but Boston College is in this conference. They beat Florida State today. It was ranked in the top ten. Um, so, BC 17 and 12, and look at this league they're in. It's crazy. Um, so, uh, it means a lot. It, it, it Really, there's a lot of good places. And plus, Evan is going to be playing in the Cape Cod League this summer, mm. which they made the movie Summer Catch back in 2000 with Freddie Prince Jr., Jessica Bill. You remember this movie. Okay. Uh, Brian Dennehy was the manager. Um, so, I, I am looking. Brian Dennehy. Yeah, remember Brian Dennehy? Um, he was the manager. And then, uh, oh, what's his name? Clark Griswold's wife was was the was the... What do you call her? The mistress there, for the 
She was like, Aunt, what's her name? Annie from Bull Durham, but better looking. Um, and she is, Beverly D'Angelo is her name in real life. She is, she's a smoke show. Go look at the old National Point Vacations movies about her. She's a smoke show. She was in that movie too. Um, UConn wins, by the way, 86-72. They win, they cover, and we've got the matchup we want Monday night. Yes, we do. Which we will be doing a show. And I need UConn to win. We're, 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 we're doing the show Monday night with the game. Okay. We have to. It's a national championship. Casey just texted me one more step closer with money signs. Yeah, she wants us to win this show. It's good because uh, by the way, we watched them. They won. I win seven hundred bucks if yeah. UConn wins, which is pretty good because I all oh, I oh, paid thirty bucks to get in. That's better than pretty good. <laughs> yeah. What's the what's the what's it like a five hundred percent turnaround on the payout? There? <laughs> yeah, I guess thirty so. bucks to win seven hundred. Yeah, I think Crazy. that's pretty good, America. Yeah. So do the math. Um, but anyway. Um, Alabama hung with them as long as they could, and then UConn eventually pulled away, which is what I said was going to happen, and that's what happened. So, Giggle Smoke Guarantee uh, is now 20 and you did 14. Well. You did well. And I am now going to, right here in front of you, I'm going to pick the national championship games, and I, we'll do a brief segment three after we can finish with the baseball. Um, but if you have not checked out the Virginia Cavaliers, do your, and you're a baseball fan, do yourself a favor. Okay, start looking at not just them, but the conference they're in. Eight ranked teams. I mean, you got heavyweight battles every week. I mean, this—if you're a baseball fan, this is right up your alley. So, um, and I, look, I was at that game. It, it, it was electric. It was awesome. And um, it oh was, shit, they play VCU. Oh, on what? Tuesday. This Tuesday? Yeah. Oh. VCU usually has a pretty good. Program. I wonder if that's going to be on the on the ACC network. If it says play. it is. Okay. Well, it says ACC. N X. So I don't know what that means. What is that? Oh, Danny's smiling now. The big look man. at the size of this guy. Yeah, eighteen points, five rebounds, four blocks. So they play one at VC. Or it's in Charlottesville. Oh, the VC's Tuesday, going out there. Six p.m. Wow, they got a lot of home games early. Um, they've done well at home. So then they go to Louisville yep. on Friday. Okay, they're in Kentucky on Friday. Okay, there you go. Friday three, three Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Okay. So they got one during the week, and then they got ODU. ODU next week. Okay. George Mason at home. Huh. Interesting. Then they got Georgia Tech. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're nine and six in the ACC, by the way, so far. Um, and I haven't. I, I went through some of their lineup. I want to get more stats for you. But oh shit! Sure. They played Boston College, College at, BC. at Fenway. At Fenway Park. That'll April twenty fifth. That'll be cool. Four days for my birthday. The NFL draft is that weekend. And that, so it's only one game. Thursday they play at Fenway, then Friday they play Chestnut Hill. That's beast. That's the campus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then they're at. at oh, be, oh, there you go. We should go see that game. When is it? Tuesday, April thirtieth, at the Diamond. It's the day after my birthday. Hmm. Yeah. What, what, dude, that'd be cool if uh, your guy's pitching too. If he is, well, I'll find out. Um, because you'll he'll have to look. He's not going to know until. Uh, yeah, he wouldn't know for a while. That's another. Yeah. That's yeah. That's the end of the month. Um. But look, uh, definitely check them out. Check out Evan Blanco, lefty, Southpaw, Woburn, Mass. Um, he is the ace of the staff right now. Um, and by all accounts, he's got staying power. So, is he the ace? Yeah. yeah. He's the, yeah, he is. He's the ace. Um, I, looked at all, I looked at all the pitching numbers. He is he the, he, numbers. He's the guy. Yeah, he's the guy. <laughs> so he had four no decisions Good for because him. early in the season they weren't hitting. And so he was pitching well enough to get more wins than he has, but they just didn't hit. Now what was his best hit. friend, you said? Uh, he's not on the team. Oh, okay. um, his roommate's in there. I can tell you. Henry right Ford's on their team. Holy shit. No. The assembly line and now UVA baseball. Yeah, there you go. Um, so check them out. Shout out to them. We will be covering v- uh, Virginia throughout the rest of the season, giving you updates on them weekly. And when my man pitches, um, we'll let you know how he's doing. Uh, good, bad, or indifferent. And, Blanco, um, is he Italian or Hispanic? I think he's Hispanic. Same he, thing. He looks... I mean, he, he could... Pass for either. Um, good looking kid. He's got a following. He had. It was funny. There were six or seven girls there last night. They came over to meet his mother. This was hysterical. They had a cutout of his head. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's like, it was funny and um, great. Yeah, and she's like, so nice. I'm like, yeah, they all want to date your son. <laughs> That's why they're so nice to you. Getting good with the mom. Getting good with the mom. <laughs> like, like they don't know what they're doing. Like they don't have an agenda. Come on. Did you see this guy? Uh, I did not see him, but he's got the porn stash going <laughs> mm-hmm. on. No, the, the, his that's, w- Joe Sav- that's Joey Savino. Joey Savino. I think he's Italian. Joey Savino. You know where he's from? He's yeah. from Moncacama. 
Wow. Ron Conkham in New York. Yeah, he's Italian. Yeah, he's freaking good. The dude, his part, his his roommate looks like a surfer. Keep going. He's a... Um, blonde kid? Yeah, blonde kid with the hair. I forget his... I think it's song. Good kid. Up. I met him last night, too. Good kid. Um, he's up towards the top there, I think. Not great. Right there. There. Uh, yeah. Luke Hansen? Yeah, Luke Hansen. He's from Virginia, from Williamsburg. Um, super nice kid. Uh... I think he plays third base or shortstop. I forget. Um, it says infield. infield. Yeah, he was, I think he was playing third. 6'3", 200. God, they're all enormous. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, these are, these are legit. Um, so, very yeah. impressed with them. Very impressed with them against a very good team they are playing against. So, that was no joke. So, we'll be following them throughout the season, giving them shout-outs, of course, criticism when necessary. Okay. Um, <laughs> criticism when necessary. First of all, he's from Massachusetts. He would expect nothing else. Oh, hang on a second. We got another guy. <laughs> another guy. Antonio Parada. A lot of, lot lot of goombas. A lot of goombas, lot of on, goombas this on this roster. I like it. I like it already. Making me love it. <laughs> and, I mean, Blanco, let's throw him in there. Yeah, but He could be Italian. I, I, I mean, I mean, Hispanic, I Italian. He's, he's, one of, he's close. He's close. Um, and you got but, Jacob um, Firenze. Firenze? I mean, that could be Italian, right? Firenze. Maybe. Possibly. Like Barker, not a time. I'll I'll talk to Evan again, and, and I'll get the I'll get the Dago count. I get the Dago, <laughs> Dago count. Dago. How many How many are we dealing with here? How many, are the oh, then you got how many hitmen do you have? Freddie Baravides. <laughs> Hold on a second. Junior. I saw that name. You did Baravides. Where'd you see it? On the Reds. I think his dad. Mm. It was a different guy. Mm. Let me look it up. Baravides on the Reds. Mm. He was a uh, like an infield coach. Maybe. If I pulled that, if you called that, that's pretty impressive. That'd be a nice pull. Yeah, that'd be a nice pull. Because um, I was watching, I was looking at the Met game the other day, I think, mm. and I saw that name. Mm -hmm. and this guy's a junior. Yeah, here he is. Um, he went twenty-one and zero. This is this is my boy Evan Blanco. Went twenty-one and zero at Austin Prep. Two hundred and sixteen strikeouts. His ERA was zero point five eight. And <laughs> as a senior, he was 12, and he rated was 0. .9. He gave up one earned run <laughs> and struck out, only walked 11 and struck out 129. I think, I think it, you're getting to understand why he's where he is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he made academic all-conference as a freshman, um, and, uh, and he will be playing in the Cape Cod League this summer. Um, when you look at the, this is the thing about these rankings. You've got eight, not just the ACC has eight, the, the SEC, including number one, Arkansas. Clemson, by the way, I'm sorry, was number two at the last poll. Arkansas is number one. Oregon State's in there from the Pac-12. Then you got Florida, Vandy. Now, here's the weird one. Dallas Baptist University. Anyone ever heard of Dallas Baptist University? Texas, dude. I know that, but I've never heard of them. Um, for anything, um, but they're obviously Division One. <laughs> so mm -hmm. um, North Carolina, Duke was nine. North Carolina ten. Virginia Tech eleven. Then you got East Carolina, Alabama. There's that name again. Florida State, Virginia, UC Irvine, Kentucky, Tennis, uh, LSU, NC State. There they are. Coastal Carolina, my favorite football stadium. On the way down to see my mom. Wake Forest, South Carolina, twenty-two. Mississippi State, twenty-three. Nebraska and UCF, which I believe is Central Florida. Um, Rounding out the top 25. So that was as of this past week. Now, tomorrow, I'm assuming, or rather Monday, there'll be new rankings. Okay, this is kind of crazy, though. What? So it's not the same. The guy for the Reds, first base coach, mm -hmm. his name's Freddie Benavides. The kid for UVA, his name is Freddie Beruvides. Very close. That's close. No, really. and, and he's a junior. So, like, hmm. my head was, I thought I had it. Oops. Jeez. All right. Well, pretty good call. I'll take it. I'm pretty sharp pretty good, there. Pretty good call there. I mean, I'm getting I'm old. Pulling that one out of your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. Like um, we will be back. Segment three. Giggle Smoke guarantees coming up. And the Knicks got a gun, a big gun back. Didn't pay dividends last night, but... <sighs> And they got Milwaukee tomorrow. I think it's going to down the road, down the stretch. We will talk to you guys in segment three. Giggle Smoke Guarantee. We're going to pick both national championship games, starting with tomorrow's thriller, the one they wanted, Iowa-South Carolina, the rematch. We will see you on the other side. <laughs>